That letter I received from Davenport, now that I filed the appeal, now you did all that paperwork, you endure your health, but now, aside from the deposit you put down, which is supposed to cover the transcript, they want another $462.18. All this because Kevin Clark spoke out against Capri property management. So these children could have a playground to play. So these people could have a parking lot to park their cars so that people do not have to live in danger. All these complaints filed by Kevin Clark about the 2,000 pounds of garbage in the playground there about the busted glass that's everywhere there. Also, these children can play. And Capri attacked Kevin Clark because he's on a mental health housing program, but he was also a candidate for public office. And Capri, in turn, took Kevin Clark to court, saying his campaign signs, because they were handwritten, interfere with the integrity of the property when what really interfered with the integrity of the property was the disrepair and lack of maintenance by Capri Property Management. Kevin Clark ended up in the hospital, and his mental health worker and property manager, and his mental health worker is a formal property manager, ganged up and worked together, saying that Kevin Clark had a mental illness that led him to post these campaign signs when he was a candidate for public office in the city of Toronto. Yet they used the stigma of mental illness to order an eviction. And it's been hell, hell and more hell, trying to right this wrong. And now they want more money from a disabled man for standing up for the rights of others. And that's the disgrace of Capri Property Management and their actions and Oriana Lassard of Across Boundaries. God is with us. It's my birthday today, and I wish everyone to have a happy, happy my birthday, because I can tell you it's the most painful birthday I've ever had, physically and mentally. And the only way I can get any satisfaction is knowing that everyone is having a happy my 